90% of designers, or I can say almost all designers, download a lot of fonts and later on choose a few of them to work with. It is very difficult to manage this number of fonts and if your machine is low in specs and you install that number of fonts, it will begin to run slower than before. In this video, I will show you how you can use fonts without installing and how you can manage thousands and millions of fonts with ease. So let's set the ball rolling. There will be a link in the description to lead you to this website for you to download the font manager that is the font base. This video is not sponsored by font base. We support Mac, Windows and Linux so you can use it on Mac, Windows and Linux. And this is the preview of how the interface looks like. Very nice and this one is in a dark mode. When you go you can set up in any mode that you want. Okay, so these are some of the amazing features that the app have. So let's jump into the font base itself so that I can show you some amazing features for a workflow. So when you install the app and you open it, that is how it looks like. It is having a very nice interface. So as you can see over here, I have over 8,000 fonts that I have not installed on my PC, but I can use it whenever I need them. Yeah, so one advantage of using font base is that when you install it, you have already the Google fonts, all the Google fonts in the app. So whenever you need any of them, just activate them and then you are good to go. So let me quickly run you through how it works. Font base helps you group your fonts in folders and collections. So let's say in the collections, you can group your fonts in terms of your business flyer, your church flyers, any. You just make that collection of fonts over here. And then when you come to the folders, you can do anything with the folders. You can just put, let's say, the script font in one folder. You can put the serif font in one. All the other types of fonts you can mention, of, you can put them in a folder so that it can be easily accessible. Okay, so this is how it works. When you want to activate the, let's say, the entire folder, you click on the circle behind it so this one the meaning of the green circle is that inside the folder there are some of the fonts that i have activated so not all of them has been activated the green circle means some of the fonts has been activated so you see partial activation of font okay so for the button fonts i have activated all of them so as you can see so it's having a failed circle my fonts i have installed some of the fonts inside so it's having a partially failed circle and then coming down here this one I have not activated this so it is having neither green nor half filled circle so it's just an ash circle this means that you have not activated your font so when you download the font and then you bring them over here in a form of let's say where folder watch folder font collection any of them and then you come over here you go through all of them or even most of them so that you can activate the one that you like that's what me i do i activate the fonts I like a few of them not all the fonts that we are going to use but activate what i will need and as you can see i have over 8000 fonts but i've activated only 195 and the rest are inactive so as time goes on i come into the app i browse the fonts i change this one you can change the the, the lettering over here so you can change it to actually something that we are going to use in the project so let's say let me use green tech graphics So that you will see the preview of how the test will look like on your project. So when you change like this, you just go through and you see what best suits the project. You can use the search font tool over here to search whatever font that you want to activate. So let's say Mons Sarat. Okay, so that's that's it here, Montserrat. And then you just click on the circle next to it, and then it has been activated. So activate family. Uh, as when you bring it closer to it as you can see activate family and then you can use the heart over here to add it to the favorite or you pin it on top of all the list of fonts and then you can change the entire theme of the interface so you can change the background color to any of the colors that you are maybe working late in the night and you don't want the half white background so you want to change it to something that you like that one it is up to you this one is just a way to show you that you can change the color so let me just bring it back to the normal and then if the size too that is showing is not like it doesn't suit your preference you can also use this slider to increase the size and also decrease the size nicely there is this feature over here too that will make your work very simple 
when you are choosing your font as you see it is called super search so you click on it like this and you see the categories of fonts the low contrast the medium contrast and the and then the high contrast and then the low weight lightweight medium weight and then the bold and then all the other um, categories so you can also use tags so maybe you are working on a design that needs something comic something casual something that is made for children and then something classic any of them let me choose for you to see and there's something comic and choose all of them something comic you see these are the fonts that goes with the tag comic and then let me go to condense so these are the fonts that goes with the tag condense you click on that tag then it will give you the font that goes with that tag this app is very powerful and then coming to the chart here you open the chart to you see you can choose the font in terms of the contrast the width the proportion and the x height very 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 simple if you are enjoying this video give it a like and then comment down below if you have heard this app before or this is your first time let me know in the comment section this font manager you can use it for free but if you want to use these features like the categories the tags and the charts it is very very cheap to be awesome you have to pay just three dollars every month and then if you want to do it a yearly subscription to 29 dollars every year and for the forever you will pay 180 dollars forever and you are not going to pay anything again so going with a monthly subscription you can use the promo code satori to get three months free trial and then from there you just pay three dollars every month get all these features to manage your funds like a pro make sure you subscribe to this channel for more great content turn on the notification so that you will be the first person to be notified whenever i upload content like this now that you know how you can manage your font if you want to learn how to use the type tool in photoshop just click this video on the screen until next time guys quench not your creativity peace